all started in KNUSD. I was in my second year at the time, and I was. I had the opportunity when I was in my first year to be part of a community called M Friday. And M Friday, we used to meet every Friday at the Vodafone Tech Hub in KNUSD, where we got to meet our senior colleagues who were entrepreneurs, got to meet other people from different departments, different faculties, who were very innovative. Like they all, we all shared a common energy, common vision, common drive. And so it created that fusion. Now, when they left, the pioneers of M Friday left, there was no succession plan, so uh, the, the activity died out, the community died out. And for me, I felt I gained so much from it. And so it, it became like I, I decided to make it my life's mission to create an opportunity, a platform similar to that while I was still in school. So it was just a one-time hackathon which evolved from being just a hackathon to having other initiatives that created a continuous engagement, peer-to-peer -peer learning opportunity for people. The first hackathon happened in 2016, focused on promoting e-commerce in Ghana. And through a partnership with Dream Mobile and Stambik Bank, we managed to secure support to create that opportunity. And for the first time, the dream became a reality. We had about 80 participants who, who came in, and we had almost 30 brilliant e-commerce solutions that were pitched at the end of the hackathon as the outcomes. Today, we see some of these people like Isaac Sessi, who now who was awarded MIT's uh, 35 under 35 most innovative uh, young people across the world. We see Kweku Tebri and uh, Robert, who now runs, who are co-founders of Roots Digital, uh, one of the leading software companies in Ghana that's produced a, an event platform as a service company called Thrill, which powered the, the year of return and also another platform that allows shops to migrate onto online uh, in the less than 30 minutes. These are some of innovative people we, we churned out from the beginning. And for me, it brings me a lot of fulfillment to see the practical transition of they being students to becoming entrepreneurs and today employing their own colleagues, most of whom also came out of the community. So that is how it all started. Five years on, we, our community has impacted over 8,000 people through several other initiatives. Uh, the remote internship program, which is my most dearest amongst all of them, which has managed to solve the challenge between bridging the gap of academia and industry to ensure that the graduates who churn out of our universities are tailor-made to suit the opportunities that industry is creating for us. And so the remote internship program allows students to acquire industry experience concurrently as they go through the university. For example, if you're a student in second year and you enroll onto the program and you're assigned to an organization, you get to work a maximum of 20 hours a week with the organization. This allows you to manage your productive hours while you're in school, remembering that you're entitled to 24 hours a day. And Last year, we successfully created opportunity for almost 230 people to gain jobs, national service and internships here in Ghana. And for me, it's a definition of success for us is being able to look back and listen to the testimonies of people who volunteered their time, people who gained these opportunities and came back to share their experience and also to support other people who materialize their dreams. For the expert knowledge and experts who volunteer their time to come every year to support these young people, carve out their idea, get the validation they require to, to, to gain that motivation to want to do more. For the people who come to share their failure stories to tell other people that you are not alone in your failure. For us, these are the things that actually create that community of, of that community of realizing that you don't require so much to get people to wherever they want to go to, or you don't require so much to start the ignition of the of the bus that will drive people to their destinations. And Hack Lab primarily creates that opportunity, and we are we base everything we do on diversity, inclusion, and 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 
minimum barriers possible to allow everybody the equal opportunity. In 2018, we launched our theme which was focused on preparing for the fourth industrial revolution. Or are we ready? And so our mission for the last couple of years is to focus on the emerging technologies, educate and create awareness about its existence and the career opportunities available within them, and help create that conversation right amongst the youth to start to think about what could they possibly start to invest their time and resource in educating themselves so that they stay relevant over the next 40 to 50 years. And also to solve the problem of people losing out on opportunity to get jobs. And so 2018, we launched Emerging Technologies, which was focused on uh, fourth industrial revolution. 2019, it was focused on blockchain technology. And we had about 674 participants with about 71 uh, commercially viable project scaling out of, of the hackathon. This year we are focusing on leveraging artificial intelligence to drive the digital transformation in, in Africa. And we believe that artificial intelligence is what would make the fourth industrial revolution what it should be, because data has become the new fuel for powering technology and decision making, real time decision making for businesses, for manufacturing companies, for automated vehicles and the likes all require these things. And so this year's agenda for all the events we'll be hosting will be focused on driving that particular uh, 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 motivation to get the youth to start to think about what's in AI that I need to focus on? What can AI do for me? How can AI power this? How can I be part of the AI journey? What skills do I require to become a specialist in any of the subfields in AI? And so at the end of the hackathon, the projects that we emerge and the skills we hope the students will acquire will be focused on these areas. We are working very hard to gain as many partners as possible who would create, who would give up, who would open up their AI platforms, who would open up APIs and test environments. And we are also working with expert knowledge and expert knowledge organizations who come in during the hackathon to share practical examples as well as our industries experts who come in to share practical use cases or problem statements that will allow the students to think commercially viable solutions that can transform us in terms of Africa to where we are headed to. This year's hackathon promises a whole new experience of what hackathons should look like where we'll be shaping and discussing the future of artificial intelligence and its influence on the digital transformation of Africa. And you can be part of our agenda on how AI can do it. Be at the hackathon this year and you'll never regret it. Many other opportunities to be shared. Stay tuned.